Hey, what's up, everyone? I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner, but let's break down my wife's chart. Man, duh, what am I thinking? I mean, obviously, my kids are important, too. We did Annie and Alexandria. I'm gonna do the rest after this, because this one's kind of important right now. I mean, if, if she didn't like me and she got tired of me, she could just stump me and find someone better really fast, because I'm not that good of a person. So uh, maybe I should do a little research on her personality so I don't lose her because she's an amazing con contribution to my life right now. I don't know what I would do without her. I've been on all kinds of adventures with her. Dude, it's been amazing. It's been a freaking roller coaster. So let's go on this one, okay? When we first met, funny thing is the first thing I asked her was, what's your sign? Because I love astrology. And she was there. And, uh, you know, so that's the first thing I ever asked her. And she always tells me, you remember the first time when you met me and you said that, that? And I'm like, oh, thanks for reminding me. I guess maybe one day I'll use that, like, right now. <laughs> she's really important to me, you know? So, okay. Hers, she's a Taurus. And she's a Leo Moon like me. Which is very cool. And... And her rising is Gemini, like mine. So our big three is on point, right? But the thing is, guys, when we met and got to know each other, her personality, in my eyes, went from cool, we're just like each other, to who the f are you? What? You said you? You what? You feel what? What? Every time we talk about something, anything, what? <laughs> you know, because... Because her Mercury, bro, her Mercury is in Taurus. But she's a Taurus sun. And her Mercury is in Taurus. So I'm like, uh, wait, who are you? Um, my Mercury's in Libra. I don't really identify with you because you're um, way too emotional. And you make no sense. And you're always going forward. You don't have to go forward all the time. You know you can stop, right? You don't have to push so hard. You know that, right? You know, that's how the energy goes, which is fine. My energy is different too. I pause all the time and I break down every single little thing ever. Okay? I feel like Libra should be leader, you know, because they make the right decision. It might not be on the right time scale, but it's always the right decision, which is really cool because, I mean, why would you want to take your life and take the wrong direction? But some people do, like Taurus. They just go burp, straight up forward, man. If they're frustrated, burp, they go forward anyway. Bull in a china shop, it's pretty scary. <laughs> but take with it what you will. I'm sure there's other signs that are this similar, you know, other signs that like to ride on people that, you know, like um, first thing I thought of was a Scorpio would definitely ride on the Taurus's back. Cancer would definitely ride on that thing's back, right? So, I mean, there's, there's consistencies through inconsistencies and congruencies through <sighs> significance, okay? Eh, whatever. <laughs> we're, not, we're not bugging on nothing, okay? Now, let's just continue. Her Venus is in Pisces. My Venus is in Libra. Once again, two, uh, two, two something. I couldn't really put my finger on it when we were dating. I'm like, why are you so, so, uh... Why are, you, why are you this way? My Venus is in Libra, so I have to know. Balance me out, please. Uh, I don't know. Pisces, I've just experienced everything in my life. What does that mean, Libra, right? But what does that mean? You've experienced everything in your life? So why are you here? Die already. No, I don't feel like it. What? <sighs> you know... I have Aries Mars, so I start hyperventilating, you know. Like, why do you say this? Why do you say that? That, that didn't make no sense at all. Mars in Pisces, too? My Mars in Aries. So, so uh, I've already been in Aries before. Pisces, right? I've already been in Aries. And I've been every other sign. And your sign is boring. What? <laughs> you know, we like, start hyperventilating again. The Aries energy is like, why you got to say stuff like that? Because I've already been there. I've already done that. What? Yeah, that's 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 pretty much a lot of Pisces, bro. 
And every time I hear that, my my energy is like, bro, bro. <laughs> you know, bro. Ugh, no. You can't say that stuff to me. Don't say that. You, you've experienced everything. I've experienced everything. I'm awesome. I'm empowered. Aries. Aries, you know. I'm I am, I am, I am. Super I am-ish. You know, like Scorpio. Such a goof. <laughs> but then Pisces jumps in there with a intellectual Libra energy like, eh, I'm fine. You know, they and then they jump in there with a Capricorn energy like, I can do whatever I put my mind to. And you know, it's like, whoa, okay. So, you, so you're one of those. You, you got God complex. You know, that's why I started thinking about you. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you got a God complex. <laughs> that's what Pisces vibes teach me. Is that they're just super God complex anyways. Which is a good thing. Because it's in their nature. And that's what made me attracted to her, to be honest. With the whole God complex thing, I was like, yeah, okay, I can ride that. Aries, God complex. Hmm. Those two kind of go together. <laughs> We're trying to push it together and stuff. Like, for a whole relationship. <laughs> I can't find out how it goes. But it doesn't. But at the same time, everything goes together. And you need to be grateful for what you have in life. Because the things that you have in life can disappear just as soon as they got to you. You understand? Everybody knows this. So take what you have very seriously. So we have also Jupiter. Her Jupiter's in Cancer. So when it comes to self-growth and financial gain and all that cool stuff, her Jupiter's in Cancer. My Jupiter is in what? What do you remember, guys? Uh, I almost don't remember. My Jupiter is in Gemini. So I am forced to break down every single gosh dang thing for everyone to understand. I am the filter in your water glass. When you want to drink water, I'm the filter that cleans that water so that you don't die when you drink it or get sick. That's my communication energy. <sighs> right? Her communication energy is, I am the water. I nourish you. I care. I just do whatever I can to help you because I care. And then you're like, okay, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go do whatever I want. And then you, you turn into an a-hole because of her Mars and Pisces, Pisces loves to cuddle and be friends and be close. But Mars and Aries loves to get things done, right? So those two don't necessarily go together, now do they? Not in that situation. Unless that Pisces decides that they want to do the same thing as you. But that's not as likely because there's more signs that aren't so into that, right? Uh, okay, so Gemini likes to have friends and partners and stuff. Even an air sign, right? So it's pretty intense. There's more likelihood that that Pisces that you're talking to is going to not want to do things that you want to do because you want to be alone and, and awesome. And that's all you can do. You're a one-trick pony. I'm an Aries Mars. I'm a one-trick pony compared to a Pisces, which is a every sign in the zodiac and plus one. <laughs> I'm nothing compared to that. So that's, that's a fun fact, right? Okay, so my wife Saturn is in Capricorn, which makes her a really good worker, hard worker. And plus, Saturn is home in Capricorn because Capricorn and Saturn are... Oh, do some Tai Chi really quick. <laughs> but seriously though, Saturn and Capricorn are the same planet. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So that means that if you take that Saturn and Capricorn energy and you, uh, you know, put it into a person, then you have a very centered person. You have a person that can do things. If Saturn energy makes you that Zen person when it comes to work. Because you're already like, you got your glasses, your spectacles, you, you're working super hard 24 seven. 
Saturn suns, you know, you see them. They work hard, man. They work super hard. And you don't see what they're doing, but they're doing a lot in the background. So you gotta respect those people. Okay. Okay, guys, so... We're gonna exclude the rest of the planets and the houses. Because this is just me breaking down my wife's personality for me to be able to communicate with her. If it was me trying to break down her personality so that she could be a better person, I might include that, you know, her Saturn is in Capricorn. And then I would describe her fifth and eighth house, with, which are also in Capricorn. And I would describe why that's significant with her Saturn and Uranus and Neptune in Capricorn, you know? More so just the Saturn, but okay. You know what I mean? But for me, I just want to compare us to communicating, thinking together, expressing ourselves together, our relationship together, and our work ethic together. Those are the most important for me. So me breaking down her personality, that's what's the most important. So, so when I communicate with her, it's like striking a match and creating a fire in our relationship. But how is that fire going to be? Well, Mercury and Libra. So you light a fire with a lot of air and wood and it burns, right? So I'm probably going to be really aggressive in the conversation, right? See, uh, maybe you could say lightning. <sighs> or let's see. Here, we'll, we'll transmute this communication, okay, into physical form right now. So... My whole chart, uh, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn, mostly fire, Mars is fire, communication, Mercury, Libra. So I can communicate with the fire from my Mars through my Mercury and Libra, and I can spit fire, right? So my wife's communication is she is a solid log, okay? And she can... Well, she has Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Her, her Venus and Mars are in Pisces. Saturn's in Capricorn. Mercury's in Taurus. So she's got a lot of watery Earth energy. So she has like a lake with a big ass log in it. Okay? Now how is a fucking flame, which I am, going to communicate with the lake with the big ass log in it it's going to burn the log right so that's going to be the communication okay and then say it's a it's a type of wood that that burns and then recreates itself you know a, a sycamore tree or something you know that kind of energy it po possibly be we po possibly create a swamp together if you really think really hard about it right and that's it, which is beautiful. Everything is beautiful in its own, in its own light. And so you, you love and accept that. And then you just remember that you are, you are, you are blessed and blessings and thank you.